Hello and welcome back. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. Same with the same case. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the class two. We're going to get him ready. Um, I'll use at times either plastic or I like wedges. I'll soak, pre-soak the wedge. Uh, this is an anatomical wedge. I'll slide, try to slide that one in first. Make sure we get a uh, good separation. And uh, make sure rubber dam clamp might have a little something to do with this one so I might have to switch it out so let's uh, yeah, let's see if I can push that in any further might be able to hold that one in okay so we'll loosen that up a little bit all right it's all about feel bring in my Slide that in. Slide it in. That's the band. That's uh, cooperating. Good. There we go. Slide it over. Okay. It's pretty decent. Get this rubber dam back in. <clears throat> I'm going to hold and push at the same time. Okay, I got my wedge in there. Clamps next. Uh, the tine. Now I'd like to place this since my lingual is is really well done. I'm going to just go right behind the wedge and let that compress. I'm going to go back in with my cleaner. Get rid of the blood before it starts to coagulate. Scrubbing everything. Now we're going to definitely put it down as a future crown, okay? Once I saw that fracture, I said, you know, in the size of this filling, it will stay as the buildup. Rinse again. <clears throat> I'm going to polish one thing. I see a little something on the back of a margin. Good enough. All right. Sliding all the way back here is something on uh, margin. Back in with the cleaner. So this is uh, cavity cleanser with chlorhexidine gluconate. I'll rinse all them again. So we're going to now dry that with an air-air syringe. There's actually no air going to the syringe. It's completely filtered. So I can push either button and I'm still going to get air coming out. Now we're going to burnish a contact. Keep the air out of uh, the moisture out of there, getting contaminated. Just a gentle contact back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. There you go. We're good to go. Now there's the C factor. We'll talk about that. Configuration factor being taught in uh, most dental schools now, probably all dental schools, and uh, it's important to to think about all that so we'll do our best to uh, build up cuss tips incrementally wipe okay too much wipe try this again Okay. 
Okay, this is a liner which doesn't need etch. Not to be confused with other materials. I'm going to light cure it. It takes 20 seconds to light cure. Liner's job is to insulate the, um, the dental layer that's closest to the pulp. Double check and margins. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, etch next. Okay, we'll start up in here, 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 a couple of spots in here that we did. Okay, let's do these two and then we'll rinse these two first. And then I'll do the large one back there. We'll seal them all together. Got a nice seal, the rubber dam. Looks Everything looks great. How you doing, okay? Great. Okay. And we'll go ahead and rinse that. Just the bicuspids, that's all. And I'm going to go ahead and add resuction only. I'll we'll add to the molar. This is total etch. Give it 15. Okay, go ahead and rinse that thoroughly. Just rinse only, we won't dry it at all, just rinsing. And then we'll do a heavy vacuum at the end. And vacuum right on the tooth. Now I'm going to just use light air. Very gently. That's it. We'll be right back uh, after this pause.